when you start your first business, um, it's very, very fearful. And you know how difficult it is to get your customers. And then to employ someone, so even though there's a desperate need to employ someone, the scariest thing is that you know that you're then going to be responsible for their livelihood. And you don't want to let people down. And it's a very, very important thing to overcome because you can't grow unless you have people on board. And that what you need to do, especially in the early days, is try and recruit people who have faith in your vision. Because what you don't want to do is spend a lot of your time being fearful about those pe the, that person probably ending up on the dole or something. Now, the question is, how do you know whether a person has faith in your vision? And that really then comes down to passion. I believe that passion is toxic. And what you want is that you want people to think, actually, I'm going to give this person a go because I could see that I could actually go on and achieve great things um, if I attach my wagon to that sort of person. So you know by how a person responds to what you tell them about your vision. I have to admit that in the past, I haven't been the best person at hiring people. And um, because I tend to sort of hire people uh, that I like, um, but that's not necessarily the right person for um, the business. And so th the first thing to learn when you're hiring a person is to look at your own weaknesses. And what you need to do is that you need to hire someone who is going to actually supplement the weaknesses. And uh, if you don't get that right, you're not going to have the right people in, in your business. So I learned pretty earlier, early on that for me to get the right balance of people, I needed to look at myself and be honest to myself about what my strengths were, what my weaknesses were, and there to try and find the right people to plug those gaps. As you progress in, in business, uh, you need to get um, a management team so the business isn't just focused on, on you. And that is difficult. And um, again, one of the, the, the issues that one has is to make sure you're not really recruiting people like yourself. You've got to have people who have um, different skills. The best way of finding um, the right management team is failure. If you fail at doing things your way, you then realize you probably need to have different viewpoints um, to help th this business um, go on to prosper. And what I try and do with my business as much as possible is to treat it like a living person. I see it as my little baby. Now I know that if, my, if my, one of my children um, had a problem and it needed professional help, I wouldn't think twice about getting that child to get professional help. And that's how you've got to view your business. Your business is a little baby and you must give it as much professional help as it needs to be able to go on and grow and achieve its full potential. So that's my approach.